down with just a little more than 400 to go. And Mr. Mullinaz called on his effort, has to get to Gold Bay down the centre, but runs on really nicely now. Mr. Mullinaz comes home strongly at Gold Bay. They pull three lengths clear of Munaseb and then Ultra Silver, but it's Mr. Mullinaz that has taken control of matters now with 200 to go. And this looks like he's on his way to victory from Gold Bay. Mr. Mullinaz will come out a very comfortable when he's clear by five. And Mr. Mullinaz will do it easy here today. Wins by nearly five lengths. Gold Bay second. Ultra. This was a really, really good win. On the form, he was expected to win. But I tell you what, it was a good run from the runner-up, Gold Bay. The half-brother to Pomodoro. But everyone was counting on the Alexander train, son of Mullins Bay, Mr. Mullina. And he has not let supporters down. He's won it by four to five lengths here. Mr. Mullin under Robbie Frad wins very easily between four and five lengths. Well done to Messrs. Moon Sammy, Dave Avery, T. Lee, G. Stevenson, and Empress Palace's own Bob Urim, all involved in the partnership here, wins comfortably. Gold Bay. Victory going the way of the favourite, number six, Mr. Malina. Well, you would have been happy if you banked this one in your pick six because he's won like a good thing from the Gary Alexander stable with jockey Robbie Fred aboard. And he's come through smartly. I know when I chatted to Gary off air prior to the race, he said he, he's a horse that uh, he thinks has got ability and that uh, will probably, you know, go into the features later on, Robbie. But he was impressive tonight. Jules, yes, that's, that, that's right. And um, he'll get better all the time, you know. He'll improve a lot. The source um, penny hasn't dropped with him yet. I thought his last time was a great run to that horse um, that beat him because I think that also Robbie Sage is a top horse. I think he's a five, six time winner, you know. And um, I think his game place is a great run. And I mean, against this field, you know, <laughs> it was nothing much I, I could have done wrong, basically. Just hold on. Looks like he's going to improve with distance as well as he, as he matures. Yeah, he is. You know, he went to the start very well with me. Um, Travelled down the start, cannon nicely. A little bit fresh, came down. So he's happy, you know, stood in the gates. Horses were going a bit funny around him. And stood like a gentleman, so... You know, he's getting there and um, he's definitely going to go places, this horse. He's got a lovely turn of foot, you know. Got to ask you about Lockie Jetstar. He's coming back after a rest now. I know he's rated by the Jeff Woodruff stable. What do you make of his chances? Um, got the ability for sure to take on those horses. Um, his fitness-wise, that's a question mark. And, um, you know, he's been gelded, so, you know, I've taken a lot of weight off him. And um, I'm sure he'll give a good account of himself, especially now that the track's a bit soft. So it'll, help, it'll be in our favour, you know. He's got a nice weight. Um, just hope we can get him nice and switched off. It's not going to run too fresh, but um, I think he'll be okay. Big thanks to the owners, you know, all concerned with this horse. They've got a lovely horse on their hands, you know, and they're going to have a lot of fun with him. And, of course, to Gary and Dean in the stable. Thanks, guys, so much. What about not sulking before not you sulking. run away? Yeah, you know. I think he was named after you, this horse. Yeah, no, she. yeah well, <laughs> not sulking. Well, obviously, you haven't seen me run second yet. Uh, then they'd have a different, I, totally I different have. name. Yes, yes, a totally different name. But, um, yeah, good chance for you, you know, honestly. Gives runs a heart out. Um, I've got three rides, and um, I'm happy with the three rides I got. Well, you got this one on, on the board, so congratulations to you, Rob. Well done. Thanks, Jules. Appreciate it. Congratulations to Robbie Fred. Gary, nice to see the stable back in form and ticking along nicely. I said on air this morning, you got a nice cup, couple of youngsters coming through the ranks, and uh, he looks promising, this fella. Yeah, we've got some very nice three-year-olds, and uh, the stable is, uh, we've run into a bit of form, which is good. And we've got to thank the owners for that and their support. Without the owners, mm. unfortunately, we can't buy the horses. And uh, we bought a very nice crop, and we've got some very special two-year-olds uh, coming through, which is good. It's about time. Okay, coming back to this fellow, 1,600 meters, probably in time to come, is going to probably a bit be a bit short for him. Yeah, listen, he's uh, going to be a horse that's uh, definitely from a mile to 2,000. But I would, I'd leave him at the mile now, mile 1,800. I wouldn't push him at this stage further. Um, and we'll just see how he improves from here. The, oh, he is a very nice horse. He, re he reminds me of that horse, Hartwood. He's the same, got the same temperament, he switches off, and that's what you need with a horse. You need a good temperament and hopefully go through the divisions. But I've got to thank our owners for the support, and uh, Robbie rode a great race. Great bunch of owners you've got in this fella too. Oh, yes, very Yay. nice bunch, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Julie. Well done. Uh, just before you run off, sorry, you've got Divine Grace later on in Exceptional. Yes, uh, Divine Grace, uh, she put up a very good effort last time. Uh, and I think she's uh, she works just has been as just as good. I think she'll give them a bit of trouble this uh, tonight. I think she's fit and well, and uh, let's hope we can have a double with her. Exceptional if she uh, gets a, a little bit of a start. She's always a bit slow out and from that wide draw. But if she does, she always comes on and she's got a big heart that fully. So we're looking at uh, hopefully we can run into the money. Congratulations. Thanks, Judy. Well done, David Avery.
Mrs. Moon, Vanessa, please come in. Hi. Now, I, I know. I, I see. <laughs> now, I think I should get the chair. <laughs> but uh, now, you, your name's all over Durban, Cape Town, Joburg. I mean, you're taking over this ownership yeah, like okay. a big thing. It's a week with a lot of runners. You know how oh it goes. Okay. There's a month with no runners, and I think this week there's like six, and that'll be it for three weeks. So. Let's see. Watch this space. Well, as long as they run like this, you'll be happy. Very happy. What can you say? This is the perfect kind of run, perfect course. Uh, before the race, everybody's saying, you know, don't worry, don't worry, there's no competition. But there's always competition. And as an owner, you never really relax until the race is run. Even when you've got the favourites, I think it's probably more pressure. I've been here before, you know, and it's, uh, it's the pressure of, you know, will he live up or she live up to the expectation? And, you know, you just cross your fingers and hope. Hopefully you've got a nice horse on your hands. Thank you. I'd like to, th I'd like to thank my partners who aren't here, Greg and, uh, and Tim Lee, Greg Stevenson. Unfortunately, their working year has just started, so they're busy in Gaborone and Kimberley doing what they need to do. Thank you to the yard, Gary, Dean, Ashley, and of course to, uh, to Robbie as well, and to Vanessa and Pooby, uh, our partners in the horse. Congratulations. Vanessa, I want to have a word with you because I know you and Pooby, new owners in the game. I have to say I love the colours. Thank you. Thanks, Julie. Uh, yeah, that's fa Pooby's favourite colour, so yeah. Well, lovely to have you back in the winner's enclosure. I know you're coming through the ranks slowly, and may you enjoy it even further. Thank you so much. And well done to uh, Robbie and to Gary and Dean as well. Thank Congratulations. You. Well Thank done. You, well you. done to the guys as number six, Mr. Malina, bred by Mr. Maggot, has come through to score that first career victory at his fourth time of asking. Jockey Robbie Fred, Gary Alexander, teaming up here in the start of the pick six.